when teachers don't know what teaching is. Everyone is faking it until they make it, and they never do. And if they don't lie, cheat, and steal, they will be outcompeted by someone who will. And this is all just symptoms. The problem, all the way down on the bottom, is that we accept the culture that we are born into far too easily and always without protest for the worst things. Humanity has placed itself in poverty and all the fake it until you make it types are terrified of change. The natural tendency for our great achievements is not development, but regression, and unfortunately, terrifyingly so, corruption. It takes effort and wisdom and greatness to create, and no effort whatsoever to destroy. To move the world far and away from war, we have to think in multiple generations ahead, in two generations or three generations. It is not us that the world is about, but those into whose hands we will be delivering it. The power that keeps the world the way it is, is the collective brute force of the uneducated individual. That means that we each require a powerful and beautiful education. Or the children who will receive a fake or ineffective education today will end up perpetuating their father's own short-sightedness tomorrow. Do not look to politicians. They are far too busy campaigning, manipulating, misunderstanding, and above all, distrusting one another. I wonder why. They don't just forget what they were elected for. They never understood why they were elected or the gravity of their positions. Just like a teacher who has never taught you the subject that you were both in class for. There are two very important things that we must all ensure in order to change things in the future. We have to admit that we don't control the rules of our own world, that we don't understand them, that we can't agree because we don't have the right education. And we have to abandon all the short-sighted ideas that take us right back to repeating the same old mistakes over and over and over again. This change will not come about full circle in our own lifetimes, but we must set it in motion. We have to tell the children in middle school that we never intended for poverty to hold the world hostage. We don't know how it happened. We didn't notice it because it was already there when we were children. We have to tell them that we are genetically, psychologically predisposed to inherit and sustain the culture of our elders even if it leads us to certain self-destruction. This is a talent that once worked well when we lived in tribes, 
but with 10 billion people, we have to converge on wisdom and world peace. We know high school is ineffective. You know. Because we didn't learn any of the subjects. We know grades and subject divisions are there for the teachers to get paid. They are not for the students. And we know that we can prevent wars decades ahead by repairing schools with computerized and individualized and inspired education that real beautiful meaningful middle school and high school can fix everything just like world governments are the worst place to search for positive change, schools have become the worst place to learn or even teach at. Parents sustain the myth of standardized education by finding a convenient babysitter and somebody else to blame for a change. Worst still, schools are completely punishment-based. For a growing mind to be marked as permanently late by holding them back a grade or a semester means prison and torture. The real definition of real education is spending few weeks studying something that the student wants and is ready for and walking away with a brand new superpower. Not a fragment, not a prerequisite, but the whole wonderful thing. Subject divisions made learning for real impossible. A real subject is more likely to be titled $8 3D printed programmable DIY drones, not soldering, introduction to programming, and distant hopes of 3D printing. Parents, please. Do not wait until you have to go shopping for potassium iodide tablets to realize that children need real education that creates instant, real, and lifelong results. You, as a parent or maybe a teacher, you were never meant to be born under the threat of hunger and homelessness, and neither are the children. And the only thing that they were supposed to inherit from you was your goodness and your wisdom and not your cultural or financial standing. The little ones need to be safe to be ready to grow for the future. They require a fair and equal start and loving, powerful, authentic, effective, self-directed education. Please tell the little ones and make sure that they never forget that they are meant to grow, grow all the way up until they become wise and great beings.